Hey guys, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out my old thermostat with a Wi-Fi smart thermostat. I, I bought this uh, during Amazon's Prime Day. Um, just saw it, thought it'd be a good chance to give it a shot. So I, I already did the downstairs one. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did it with, with my upstairs one. Uh, but one of the things that always that confused me was that uh, this C wire thing. And I didn't know if I have a C wire on my thing or not. And do I need a C wire adapter? But let me show you. There's a real easy way to figure out if you need a C wire adapter or if you have a C wire. And it's kind of silly, but uh, I'll show you how to figure it out. Okay, so I have this total line model. What is it? It's a Honeywell. Um, and I... I didn't know if it was a C wire compatible or not by just looking at it. But what I had, what you have to do is you have to remove it. Oops. There, took it off. That's what it looks like in the back. Okay, but let me show you. All right, so these are the five wires that I have coming out of my port that I have. And one is white, one is yellow, one is green, and one is red, and one is blue. If you look at the blue, that, see this C? If you have something connected to a C port, then you have a C wire. If there's nothing connected to your C port, then you don't have a C wire and you need a C wire adapter. Uh, so if you don't need a C wire adapter like me, it's easy. You just uh, connect it. The nice thing about um, these standard ports is this W is white. This Y1 is yellow. This G is green. This R is red. And the C is the blue. Okay, so that's pretty easy to remember. So let's uh, install the Amazon Wi-Fi thermostat. Of course, first thing you need to do is you need to remove this. So I'm gonna uh, remove these screws and unscrew that to take out the wires. So opening up this uh, Amazon box, you're gonna see, bring it up, you're gonna see, their instruction says, download the app and follow the instructions. Well, <laughs> that doesn't really help you to, to install this, does it? Uh, so that's what it looks like. It's got the pins in the back. Instructions. So again, the instructions is more to install uh, their product, but it doesn't really help you with wiring. And that's that you know was what was intimidating me, but it, it's actually not that intimidating. Um, so earlier I, I showed you how the white was w, the W line, the yellow was the Y line. If Since my wires are pretty clear like that, um, I don't have to worry about it, but if your wires aren't clear, you should label the wires before you remove it so you know what they are, okay? So you should power everything down uh, before you do this so you don't uh, zap yourself or anything like that. I'm not going to. <laughs> so, uh, you know, do... Don't do as I do, but, uh, but anyways, uh, you know, this is what I do. Um, you, you could follow it if you want. I'm not telling you to, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take off one wire at a time and I'm going to tape that up. Okay. If you don't know what two wires are, don't put them together. So I'm going to take that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape to cover it so that it doesn't touch anything else, okay? And I'm going to do the same to all of them. And again, I'm not labeling it because I know what they are by their color. But if you don't know what they are, you definitely need to label them. Okay, so now that I have all five wires protected, I don't, I won't hesitate to bunch them together and get them out of the way. So what I need to do is now I need to take out this pan. Unfortunately, I don't have a socket wrench this small. I just got a crescent wrench. So it's gonna take me a while to get them all off. Uh, one thing you wanna be careful while you're unscrewing these, that you don't push all these wires into the wall and they slide down because you're gonna have a heck of a time fishing them out. Uh, so maybe you might want to just bend them like that so that, you know, they'll kind of hang 
and they don't slide down. All right, so I'm gonna take off that mounting frame. And again, I'm sure yours is different than mine, um, but basically you have to take it off. So next up, you, you know, with the thermostat, you get this pad. Uh, you wanna put the pad in. This is the mounting pad and you wanna um, make it level, of course. All right, get a level, level your plate. Draw, mark your spots. So these screws and these uh, drywall anchors come with the package. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the anchors. Got the anchors in, so we're gonna get this prong thing. I don't even know what it's called. It's for you to plug in the prongs on the thermostat. What you need to do is get the wires through. Open this up. Get the wires through that. And we're going to Mount it to the holes that you just uh, anchored to the wall. So it comes with the screws. All right. So the first one um, is the vertical one. But after you put in that, you want to make sure you re re-level it because there's some play in the other two screws. You see, it's not a circle, it's a little, it's a, it's a little slot. So you wanna make sure that it's all level before you go any further. Now that it's all in, we're gonna hook up the wires. Now remember, never touch two wires, you don't know what they are. So just do one wire at a time, expose one at a time, and plug it in one at a time. So remember, we said our white wire was the W pin, and here's the W pin. I'll show you what it looks like up close. So here's a close connection, close look at what we're gonna see. So we see the grayed out ones. Those are the ones that we're primarily going to use, and that's probably what you have at home. Um, so here's the W. That's our white. R. That's our red. Y. That's our yellow. G is our green, and C is our C wire, which is the blue. All right. So I'm going to do one wire at a time. I'm going to take off the tape. I'm going to expose the wire, and you push it in the hole, and it'll this will slightly open up as you push your wire through and it'll hold it in, okay? So let's do the same for all of them. Next up, I have the R, which is the red. Take off this. Slide that in, okay? Up here is the Y, yellow. Next up is the G, is that's my green wire. And finally, the C wire, which is my blue. Uh, you could also think of blue as the cyan wire. All right, so all these things, um, you need to tuck them away so that you could close this. So if you just leave it like this, you won't be able to close it. So. Um, 
just like your old one, you're gonna have to tuck it, but make sure you don't kink the wire so bad that you bend it or you short them together or anything like that. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm gonna close that up. Come back to this guy. There's a protective film, we'll take it off. All right, so this little loop thing goes to that loop thing. That's how you know which side to put it on. So you line up the prongs and it should power up. So here in the set mode, you could follow the instructions on the box how to set it up. So, and to install it, it, it was actually pretty easy. So, you know, it, it looks intimidating, but if you just do some good basic stuff, it'll be easy. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link for this in the description if you're looking for it. I mean, I got I got it on, on sale on Amazon Prime Day, but uh, I don't know. It, it might be... I don't even remember how much it costs, but I, I got it on Prime Day, but you, you can wait till next year or whatever, but uh, I'll leave a link if you're interested.